Welcome back here to the Mountain Morning Show. It's not news at all that we love our winters here in Park City, but we love summers just as much. And one of the reasons we love it is because of our great summer reading program that we have here at Park City Television. To speak about that, I have the general manager of the station here, Danielle Turner, and her son, Max. How are you guys doing? Good morning, good. Diego. Good. Always good to have you on the show. Always a pleasure. Let's talk about the summer, uh, summer fun reading program. For people who've maybe never heard of it before, what, what is it exactly? So Park City Television has been doing the Summer Fun Reading Program for 20 years now. This a is long the 20th legacy. annual, a long legacy. Um, and of course, as you know, we, we're coming up on almost our one year anniversary of owning yes. the station. So I'm excited that, that we kind of have this milestone anniversary um, to be ours. Um, the Summer Fun Reading Program is a chance for kids K through 12 um, to read this summer. Um, they need to read either 10 books or a thousand pages. Wow. And you know, obviously for the little kids that can be reading with their parents, you know, the older kids are going to do that themselves. Um, and so uh, the first 500 kids that complete that challenge and turn in their form to the station will win um, goodie bags with, with prizes from some, some of our local sponsors. Some really great goodie bags, yeah, I've got to say. Really There's some really good prizes in there. Right, absolutely. And then um, of course some of the kids are going to have an opportunity um, to come on the station and tell us about um, what they're reading this summer uh, with our summer fun reading ambassador, my, my son Max. Ambassador, as, as you know, you've seen him on uh, some promos about summer fun reading and what it's all about. So it's great to have him in studio and talk about what you're reading. And Max, what are you reading for this summer? Well, I'm reading some older books because, of course, I'm going, I'm in middle school now. I'm nice. reading And Then There Were None as one of the big books and The Book Thief. Okay. I'm really liking them so far. It's a good series then? Mm -hmm. What is it all about? Is it kind of like a mystery? Is it's it? It's actually two book series. Okay. The first one, the, both of them actually are mysteries. So they have just a good, nice storyline to follow, mm -hmm. and plenty of books, obviously, since they're two different series that you're going to be able to read throughout this summer. And uh, Danny, let's talk about why we, why we do this. Why do we encourage, uh, obviously it seems like common sense, but why do we do this? Of course. Uh, you know, I think as a community television station, it's important for us to be a leader in this community and the kids are our, the future of tomorrow. Absolutely. And that starts with their education now. And so if we can get them reading and being informed um, when they're young, then that's just all the better for us. I agree as completely, we, especially as we age, as we age yeah. and they take over our legacy. <laughs> Which is a great thing, I agree, and we're lucky and blessed here in Summit County, obviously, to have one of the best education systems in Absolutely. the state. So it's, it's great that we're uh, kind of jumping on board with that and encouraging all the kids here in the community to just read throughout the summer and just showing them that it, it's really fun to be able to, to push through all these books. And plus, it's, it's like a, a small goal. Like, I'm sure you're going to feel so happy when you get through all of those books by the end of this summer, uh, which is really, really fantastic. Let's talk about um, uh, sponsorships as well. Uh, we have some really great sponsors here in the community Absolutely. that helped make this summer reading program happen. Uh, as you said, it's been going on for 20 years now, and it really can't happen without the support of the community. It, it's really important to have the support of the community and the support of the sponsors. One thing that we are doing a little bit differently this year um, that hasn't been done in past years is we've opened up the eligibility so any kid in the viewing area whether that's Salt Lake or some of the other um, surrounding cities can also participate this time so uh, previous pre years it was really just a Park City focused Park City. Um, but as I've been out in the community over the last 11 months since our purchase of the station, a lot of what I heard from parents was, I live right on the outskirts of Park City and my kid has never been able to participate. Can you change that? Sure so, we can. Yeah, absolutely. We want to encourage as many kids as we can, we whether it be Park kids. City or yes. all over the state of Utah, to, to really participate in this, in this great program. Right. Um, for, for kids who are interested, how, how can they get involved? What do they, what do they have to do to ensure that they get a goodie bag? So parents go um, on our website, parkcitytv.com. Um, there's a form that they can print out um, and have the kids fill in what they've read. Parent signs off on it. And then they can either drop it off here at the station or they can email it back to summerreading at parkcity.tv. Summerreading at parkcity.tv. Max, you're the ambassador for the Summer Fun Reading Program. What do you have to say to all the kids out there who uh, maybe want to get involved with this? Well, I mean, the big, the biggest, 
The biggest building in, in the world is a library because there's so many stories in it. <laughs> <laughs> and you're totally right. Where would we be without all of those stories, right? So I, I, I thank you thank you so much for getting involved and being the ambassador of this whole program. Obviously, I, I'm really excited to hear all about the stories that you read throughout this summer, and I can't wait to learn more about that. Danielle, thank you so much, as always, for all the great work you do here, but also helping to get the rest of the community involved aside from Park City and getting more kids involved with our summer fun reading program which is fantastic uh, thank you Diego and of course I do want to say that if there are any um, you know potential sponsors local businesses out there that would like to become part of the summer reading challenge it's not too late reach out to me at Danielle at parkcity.tv we're happy to bring on as many sponsors as we can and make this a great experience for the kids absolutely and it, it, the more sponsors the better because we can include as many kids as possible we can make right. this really the, the, the best experience for the kids as we know this is all about the kids so we're very excited to make this happen and thank you both so much for coming on and talking about it. Max, as I said, I will be looking forward to hearing from you a little bit later this summer to learn about all these great stories that you read. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back with much more right here on the Mountain Morning Show. Definitely get involved with this summer fun reading program. If you have a child uh, here in the Park City community or the surrounding areas, as you will not want to miss out on the great goodie bag that comes later this year. We'll be right back.